<coughs> hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for your May 2024. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus, <coughs> Venus signs. This is a new love reading for you guys. So we're going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys in love first. And then we'll finish off the reads to take a look at this new love, this new person that you are dealing with or that you could be dealing with in the future. And what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, then take a look at your placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um Aquarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when the new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about, um, tell me about uh, uh, Aquarius. Aquarius and love. What is going on with Aquarius and love for uh, May 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. For Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius and love. What is going on with Aquarius and love for May 2024? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. Nine of Cups here in the Hierophant. Looking good here. Seems like you guys are happy with your life. You guys are connected to a higher power here, connected to your higher selves, okay? It seems like when it comes to love, Aquarius, I feel like you guys are getting into the place where I feel like you guys know what you want or know what you're looking for. We have the sun, Leo energy, Aquarius. Things are looking really good for you guys. You guys are happy, fulfilled. Things are smooth sailing right now, okay? Do I see anybody in the picture here? No. You know, I feel like you guys are just kind of like, you know, manifesting the life that you want. You guys are attracting good vibes here, attracting good energy, attracting good things here at this time. I do feel like with the Knight of Wands here, I do feel like someone here is in hot pursuit of you here. My only concern is that this Knight of Wands is someone who's non-committal. But if you are already dealing with this person, you know, I feel like you kind of like already see that this person is not the right person for you. So I feel like you kind of like will bow out, you know, uh, uh, gracefully here. Uh, but, you know, I do feel like there's someone here that's just definitely chasing you very, very, very hard. I mean, you could be telling this person, you know what? No, you're not for me. It could be that, you know, it could be that, you know, it could be mat maturity level here, you know, it could be, you know, your core values don't align. You guys are not looking for the same things. Uh, the Nine of Cups and the Star card, Aquarius Energy. There you are right here, the uh, Hierophant in the Four of Cups, okay? Uh, the Sun card in the Two of Cups, all right? You know, I feel like you guys are showing yourselves a lot of self-love, a lot of self-care right now. Okay, and I feel like with the judgment card, you know, I feel like there's a lot of changes that are happening in your life right now. And I feel like you're just focused on, you know, just making those changes. Okay, uh, focused on sort of like raising your vibration, raise your consciousness at this time, focusing on your healing here. Okay, this, uh, the uh, Empress and the Five of Wands, you know, I feel like you're getting a lot of attention here. People are fighting over uh, for you. Uh, I do feel like there's a Knight of Wands here in particular that's coming in, only looking for sexy time here. And you're kind of like, you know what? Maybe one sexy time is enough, but I'm looking for something more, looking for something serious, just to kind of take the edge off, just to kind of have fun here, you know what I mean? Uh, but let's see, what else do we have here for Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know, look out for, work on? Uh, tell me about this new love, this new person that Aquarius is dealing with or will deal with in the future. What does, Aqu what does Aquarius need to know about this individual for May 2024? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Okay, so with the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Swords here. Okay, interesting. There is new love. Whoever this knight is, I do feel like this knight is definitely falling in love with you. This person's pursuing you hardcore. Okay, this person's showering you with gifts. This person's uh, putting you first. 
you know, this person's definitely like kind of like overdoing it. You know, it's almost to the point that this person's too much. But you know, deep down inside, because of this person's maturity level, they're just not really quite ready to commit. Yeah, they're kind of like, you know, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. But you're just not really kind of like vibrating with this person on that level. Uh, because you know that the energies between you and this person is not really matching up. You know, perhaps this person's here for a fun time and you're just going to have a fun time, you know. Uh, tell me the Ace of Cups here. The Ace of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. That's you right here, I feel. Nine of Swords. Queen of Wands. Aries, Little Sagittarius energy. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Queen of, yeah, I just feel like you guys just kind of like focusing on yourself at this time. Focusing on going for what you want, focusing on your money, focusing on your pentacles, okay? Six of pentacles in the moon. I do feel like whoever this knight is, I feel like this person definitely is fearing losing you here. Whoever this is, I feel like this person's incredibly charming. And I feel like you get that. You see that. But I just feel like you know that this person is just not the right person for you. Two of Pentacles, you know. I feel like this person feels like they do feel like they have what it takes to make things work here with you. But it's almost like it's wishful thinking. You know, it's kind of like seeing at a, 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 you know, a, a, you know, a toy uh, that this person really wants. And then, you know, they play with it for a while. And then eventually they will discard it because that's what the Knight of Wands is. The Fool, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo. The Eight of Pentacles and the Chariot, Cancer Energy. This person really feels like they can make it happen here. But the maturity level difference that you have between this person, I would say it's quite concerning. I mean, you know that it's already, this person's not right for you. You just already know that, okay? Um, so I feel like you, your judgment is right about this person. Your intuition is right about this person. You know, like I said, this, you know, this person's coming in for a fun time and you're just like, okay, I just want to have a fun time with you. That's it. You know, the Page of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. The Four of Wands, wow. The Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you know, like I said, I feel like this person wants this really badly with you. But eventually, you know that this person's going to drop you like a hot potato. Like I said, it's like, you know, this person sees a new toy, you know, they buy it, they play with it a lot, and <laughs> eventually, they, you know, it gets discarded because this person will get bored. Yeah. Um, so, um, Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.